matchup for you here today. We've got Andrew, who has Rear Admiral Chirnu, uh, with Veteran Instincts, Emperor Palpatine, Kylo Ren, Engine Upgrade, and Dauntless. Uh, alongside the Countess, who's got Push the Limit, Twin Ion Engine, and the TIE X7. I'm Emily, I'm your host, and for my co-host this round, we've got Samit. You Hello, would, everyone. You would know him from yesterday. Absolutely. Uh, as I predicted accurately yesterday, I did absolutely horrible, scrubbed out, and decided to join the awesome and amazing team here at the commentating booth, which is a lot more fun than playing anyways. <laughs> Uh, so uh, Ryan on the other side of the field is running a uh, four-ship rebel uh, special over there. He's got Jess Pava, who we all know loves to have some friends, running flight assist primed and auto thrusters. Makes a lot of sense to me. It's a pretty standard and effective build with her. Absolutely. And then the two gold squadrons of the TLTs, uh, the flight assist Astromex and the BTLA-4s, which uh, for those new reviewers that don't actually understand, because if you just got into the game recently, you might not know what a Y-Wing looks like or what it does, but the titles lock the turret into its forward arc, and with a TLT, that means it's able to fire uh, six dice out of its secondary and then three, uh, two out of its primary uh, every single round in its forward arc, which is quite could be quite potent, especially with the ability to boost her barrel roll because of the flight yes, assist astromech. Yes, the flight assist helps so much. Absolutely. And then a AP5 coming in with the M9G8 and the weapons engineer, which is going to allow him to friendly target lock both of his uh, ships to give them the re-rolls, which you got to assume Ryan's going to want to put on his Y-wings. Yeah. Okay, and obviously yeah, AP5's ability been shown up there for you at the bottom, which you can, after you perform a coordinate, you're able to pull some stress tokens off, which again can be quite huge for ships that need to K-turn with the Y-Wings. So Emily, you said you were speaking a, a, a little bit to Ryan about what he was going to do in his thought process and game plan going into this match? Yeah, I said, Ryan, what's your big plan here? And he said, I have no plan. I said, oh, that's good. He said, I like to shoot things and that's what I'm going to do. I came here, I didn't want to play a medalist, so I brought something that I'm going to have fun with, so... We will see. But, I mean, against a decimator, just shooting things is a really good plan. Yeah, it's never a bad call. He was saying that he, he understands his list doesn't have very many tricks, uh, and he is desperate to have his arcs on the right place. And his initial joust was going to be a huge part of his matchup. Ryan's a very awesome yeah. guy, a really competent player, top four at regionals recently, and uh, playing out of, um, where city's out of again, Ron? He's fairly local to us. Yeah, Don, what city is that? Ryan's from Milton. And Ryan's from Milton, Ontario, joining us as always. Yes. And um, yeah, he's a great player. And then, east uh, okay, exactly, it is East versus West because Andrew, uh, one of the huge proponents out in the Oshawa region, puts on amazing events. He's he's an amazing guy. He runs really great events out there. Uh, recent recently uh, enjoyed the birth of his first kid. I think it's first potentially. Um, so Andrew, <laughs> sorry if I didn't if I didn't remember that off the top off the top. But uh, he knows um, he knows that Ryan is a very 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 good player, very competent. Um, and he's worried about all of those arcs facing at his decimator. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to try to see if he can get Chirpy in the, into the back of uh, Ryan's brick to see if he can get in there and, yeah, and I mean, pincer him. Those Y-Wings have TLTs, mm -hmm. but they've got the title, so they are not really turrets at mm -hmm. this point. So if you can stay behind them, you're in good standing. And he also said that he's going to want to see if he can get an early ship lead, and then uh, before he loses Chirinu, then Riyadh can do a lot of work on her That'll own. That'll be so important. I absolutely adore this build of uh, Riyadh. This is my favorite version of her. This is uh, actually the only version of her I've ever run, so uh, that's that's one I love to see. She can always be a pain in the rear. Uh, it's interesting to see this rock placement here. We have that all of that open space down there by uh, Kashyyyk, and yeah. that's a lot of room to boost in. Hmm, yeah, and Andrew's choosing to set up on the side with the rock. So he's going to either come right through them or I get I guess with a jousting list you want to draw them apart from their brick as much as possible. Absolutely. If you can drag them through the rocks basically force that engagement up by that block of four maybe forcing Ryan to have to split up that brick if at all possible. Yeah. Uh, so we should mention that these guys this is not the top table but both of these guys have won two of their games and lost one. So they're both doing really well. Mm -hmm. And this win absolutely matters. For them oh, it matters forward. Quite a lot. Okay. So these always tend to be very exciting matchups because, as you can, as you were saying, uh, the win is very important to both players here, and uh, they're both flying some interesting lists. So it'll be interesting to see that. Yeah. It's it's almost very weird or crazy to consider that, like, Chirino and a friend isn't technically a top tier list anymore. And as we've got, you know what? We keep hearing about it more and more lately. People are realizing, like, oh no, this still does a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Well, Chirinu is also a very good meta call against two ship lists, which uh, I don't know. Yesterday when you were flying, did you see a lot of two ships? Or uh, I was, well, I was flying Ghost Fan, which is essentially two ship. No, we did see a lot. There was, you know, Poe Dash. Mm -hmm. There was Nim Miranda, Nim and 
any number Something. of people, you know. There was, I would say there was a fair few to ship lists. Yeah. So it's definitely a good meta call. Also, there's a lot of aces who, who do not like to lose their actions or their abilities, and being able to get that Kylo Ren in there and, and drop someone down to PS0. Yeah. Sharon has got a ton of tricks, though. So you can see Ryan already setting up his M9GA target locks on onto some of his ships, onto both the Y-Wings. You know what, this is actually a really interesting formation that Ryan is flying. Instead of doing the what you normally typically see, the, the pinwheel formation, he's got them with that three across, which he's casting a very, very, very wide net. Right. And the fact that the flight assist, um, as you can see, he's triggering right there, he's able to do boosting or, or barrel rolling, works kind of really, really well with the fact that Jess also has that boost action on her dial or the barrel roll with the flight assist as yep. well. So they can all keep up with each other. Yeah, it's a pretty agile, it's almost like flying TIE Fighters that which live is, a little bit longer. Which is crazy when you're thinking that they're Y-Wings. You're like, oh, I can boost or barrel roll? I'm so lucky. Yeah, the, the flight assist <laughs> is such a good card. I'm so glad that they released that. It's breathed a lot of life back into a lot of these chips yeah. that we didn't see that much of. Definitely. I've seen Wedge again, and I forgot how terrifying Wedge was. Once he can boost every turn at PS10, <laughs> yeah. it's like, what's going on here? Stop doing this. Yeah, so like we said, this is an important game because this is day two of, you know, all the Swiss matches. So it's about 70 players today. We had 50-some-odd yesterday. Anyone who goes four and two or better will make it to our final day where there'll be two more rounds of Swiss with a top... Uh, a cut to the top eight. So mm -hmm. if the, one of these guys pulls out the win, they're going to feel in really good standings to make that next day. Absolutely. It's interesting with it, with uh, with Andrew's list, however, I've I got to imagine, it, the, as most Decimator-based lists usually are, you, you live and die on, a, on that MOV. You're either destroying somebody really, really fast and saving it all, or you're giving up a ton right, on that absolutely. very, very high point Decimator. Cause, yeah. There's no way to avoid taking damage on that decimator. AB Astenius, uh, they're both 2-1, and one, I believe, right now. They're not 3-0. and no. So as, as we said earlier, you might have, might have missed that point. We're trying to showcase some, uh, some pilots who are on the verge of making very, very good records, and the win mattering a bit more than maybe a 3-0 and o would at this present moment. Plus, we also want to give you some diversity in the yeah. list that we're seeing as well. This is not like anything we've watched today. And that's a great thing to see. There's four ships on one side of the table. <laughs> Two of them are wild wings. What else do you want out of life? Yeah, you can't be mad at that. <laughs> nope. So it looks like Ryan is in a good kind of formation to flip around there. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what angle or path he says that he yeah. seems he wants to Yeah, well, he take. doesn't have to do it right now. He's in that position ready to go whenever sparks his fancy. So do you, then if you're in, you're in Ryan's situation, do you try to slow slowly bank all of them, knowing that you have that flight assist to not commit to either one of those lanes, as you just said? Or do you, do you try, to, try to pick one and maybe head him off do you think he might try to fit through those two tight rocks that are on their bottom and, and cut them off or head them off at the pass, for instance? I'm not sure you want to even go near those rocks. I think you want to stay in that open space because Cherno's going to have to come around eventually, right? Mm. I That's think a good point. the slower you play it, he's the faster he's going to come around, right? So on the opposite side of things, what do you think about just going four straight with all of them then K turning them all next turn? Oh, that would be interesting. That I think that's actually that would be a good plan, honestly. We'll see. We'll see what he does. Mm. Because, as we said, he didn't actually have a plan going into this. I'm sure he has one now, because you always say that, oh, I don't have a plan. But he could just do. be saying that not to give away his plan. Or he Ooh. maybe just just decides to rely on raw yeah, skill. <laughs> he doesn't think that you're reliable and you were going to tell his plan yeah, to everyone. That's exactly it. <laughs> well, he should. He knows He knows me, I guess, already very, very well. All right, so we're seeing a three straight there. He's going to flight assist. Mm -hmm. Was there a lot of ghost fens here today? They're talking about it in the chat uh, right Well, now. I was drowning in pools, so I didn't really see any yeah. of them in my area. I, there's a few of them. There yeah. were quite a, there were a fair few yesterday. Uh, it's a big field out there. There's invariably a handful of them, but there's not as many as you think. There's actually yeah. a strong showing of Imperials. Yeah, there's a lot of Imperials. We saw in all of our other matches was Imperials today. And you were saying you actually saw some Aces. Well, you know, you got the Inquisitor in yeah. there. Like, lots. Uh, a lot of quick draw. We saw Kylo last game. Nice. Yeah. All right, so he's starting to swim around. 
Oh yeah, we saw Major Vendor. Oh, amazing! I, would, I can't wait to watch that one back that on was, stream. That was that was too bad. That was against the Soul Six uh, Nim Bomb Fortress one. Oh, you guys got that on stream? Yeah, oh, we I'm did. Very much looking forward to seeing that. Those are <laughs> those are one of those lists when you're an opponent and you see that you're uh, like, I have I'm, no plan for operating against this. Uh, and like I told you, all of our games today were really swingy. Mm. So. So yeah, we see him turning in already. He's going right for it. I also don't mind that either because I think he also gets to see on this turn, he gets uh, Ryan gets to see where Andrew goes with the Decimator and Riyadh. And if he wants to, he's got hard twos available to him. With he can the, react to he it. He can barrel roll with the flight assist because they'll probably still be out of range or he can do one, one, two, three banks or whatever that is. I'm not exactly a very good Swarm player, so I don't really know, but he's got options. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so that makes sense. So as, as Andrew's game plan, he was saying, is he, he wants to get his ships in behind there. So I'm wondering if his churn is going to go fast this turn. I think that's what we're going to see. I think see. we're seeing a 4-4 with a boost. Yep. See, you're good at this game. I'm good at watching this game and, and uh, Sing, commentating. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know exactly. everything. I would totally do everything right every time. Exactly. Those who can win, those who can't commentate. I'm joking. Just, just in my case, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and that's also going to send Andrew up. Oh, he went for the bank boost. Okay, so then he's... It's, he's looking, turning around now, too. It's looking like he's probably going to try to di uh, dip through those two rocks. Who do you think his primary target is going to be? Do you think it's that Sheathapede, or...? i got to be honest with you. In this situation, that's actually who I would want to go after first. I know yeah. it doesn't seem like you want to waste time killing a 7 or 21-point ship, but the M9G8s... Yep. Is going to be huge. The fact that he's given both of his two TLTs, the shot, the ships that have the most amount of attack dice, are variably his uh, his hammer in this list. The ability to re-roll. So with the Jess, uh, all of Ryan's forces can re, re can re-roll all of their attack dice, and they're soft mods, so they don't have to worry about any sort of the um, negative effects effects that exist out there. So uh, I do think that if it was me, AP5 would be who I would go after first. And that's, that's what it looks like he's set up for right now, because AP5 is a little bit behind everyone else. And this is actually a very, very intelligent uh, meta choice for Ryan, because we are seeing a lot of um, uh, effects in the game now that take away a lot of your ability to do things, and Jess Pava having that built-in reroll ability based on her friends being near, and the M9G8s, yeah. and those guys, there's a lot of rerolls that don't And they're not require... getting shut down like sh by stress, yeah. like all of those tactician Wookiees are trying to do. Exactly, it gets around, and it even gets around Fen's ability to stress you pre-combat, which is very, very interesting. Yeah, for sure. And the fact to note that even if Chirinu slips in a blinded pilot, that's going to only proc on the... the actually, uh, I think actually he would be able to use the blinded pilot on his... The BTLA card, is it pre secondary weapon first and then the primary attack? Um, it's been a while since I've used it. Primary first, then secondary. So in this situation, a blinded pilot gets like, eaten up by his yeah, two, you're two like, attack uh, die. Okay. And then he's got his two TLT oh, shots. It's basically like, oh, look, I shot you with two dice and it missed. Surprise, Ooh, surprise. This is interesting. It does feel like Ryan's list is a bit of a flamethrower. You just point it at something and just, just burn. You know what? That's totally my style. I love it. I know, right? I think I'm going to give it a shot. And you'd think it would be very, very linear, but the, uh, the, the Flatus' Astros definitely breathed some life into it. And I'm sure he's making FFG happy having to buy three of those shits apiece. <laughs> Oh, uh, Punk user is saying that he would lose both attacks on the blinded pilot because you have to make the attack primary first and then you lose it. Oh, good. Thank you for correcting me. I didn't realize that. Oh, it's interesting. This is why we keep the chat up. Yeah, chat always keeps us honest. We, thank you very much, chat. We appreciate that. Listen, we've been we've been here all day and we're tired. Oh, I just don't. There's just yeah. too many interactions. I just now, don't I think. know anything. Yeah. I'm lying. I can't remember the last time I've used the BTLA for. Oh, it was the the, the 26 point stress hog. So he's gonna hard turn and a barrel roll. Which means I think we're gonna see Jess do a hard three to tuck in nicely into a formation. Also, uh, Ryan, when he was at his um, his Nash, I think it was his regionals run when he went top four. He also flew a four ship rebel list, so he's got a little bit of a experience there it's when his it comes thing, to. Yeah. 
and it really rewards you if you if you fly clean and and measure it actually you can really really unlock the power of the four ship because there's a lot of synergy in his list oh yeah so does he boost or does he barrel roll I think he boosts to catch up with his friend and then I guess it depends what Jess has done if he boosts, then maybe we see a hard two from Jess and tucks in yeah, right nicely no, underneath. Yeah, no, th- I think that's... Nope, oh, barrel. going for the barrel roll. Okay. Ace, AC, AJ Cravens is saying if the rack doesn't turn in, the white wing is going to be quite sad. Uh, that's true, but you know what? I think based on his positioning, Ryan will still be able to react to that and do one banks and just pray it down. The hard two from Jess. Yeah. Apostasis. So you're wondering why the BTLA. Well, uh, the, the, the power in the list is that the fact that. Extra firepower. Yeah, when you've got TLTs that are locked in the forward arc, you're going to be able to have your two dice prim- your primary, and then as long as you're not in range one, it's range one. Like against things like a ghost or a decimator, it's like as many dice as I throw at you is as much damage as you're taking. Absolutely, and the meta is generally does feel like it's a lot more leaning towards one and two evade dice ship. So I, I definitely think it's not a bad call. No, yeah, absolutely. And M, uh, MDL 01114, you make a very valid point. You can't shoot out of arc anyway, so the BTLA4 with the flight assist is a kind of a natural fit for those two ships. It makes sense. Yeah, if you pick one, you might as well take the other. Yeah. I know that guy. <laughs> Victor! <laughs> I'm excellent yourself. Sorry. No, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, chat. Just seeing, seeing some friends wanted to say hi to them. <laughs> we are at Breakout Con, so there's a lot of stuff going on yeah. here this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, chat, Curry, you got a good point there. That is, I, I'm assuming you're contemplating on, well, actually, both the pilots are flying quite nicely right now, but Ryan has set, him, set himself up for a very, very nice setup. Yeah, let's see what Rack did. Yeah, Punk user, you're 100% correct. If, if Rack gets anywhere into that range 2 to 3 bubble against that list, he, he can feel a lot of pain. I think, actually, in Ryan's initial engage, uh, Ryan, Andrew's initial engagement, one of his best tactics might be to slam the decimator down to one of their faces and then use the dauntless to boost past them and then get in behind them. Yeah. That might be an interesting I, uh, tactic. I think you're right. Yeah, one should have taken Chopper Droid, son of Chuck Norris. That, yeah. That's a funny trick. I love that. You, you joust them, then you fly past them and, and start regening and become you, a regular turret? Yeah, you just chuck away your title. Yeah. You're like, oh, look, I've got a TLT that really works Yeah. And then you have guidance ships and uh, what else is on that you can get on? There's another zero point of the game. Oh, bomb loadout. Yes. Yeah, there's three free shields. Punk user is another good point as well. Yeah, if he can broadside one of them, ramming them, and then blinding the other one, he's only going to take damage from one. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. Back to dials. And that's, yeah, I think also Ryan does understand one of the linchpins of his list being that AP5. You can see how he's decided to leave him so far in the back there. The coordinate action is range 1 to 2, so he still potentially can use it while still keeping that M9G8 alive. I think if if I'm Ryan, I keep AP5 as far away from combat as long as possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a support ship. And he's done his job literally by target locking those two ships. At this point, all he has to do is not blow up. Yeah. I mean, being able to pull that stress off when they K-turn is huge, too, but... I think maybe he wants to play a bit more cagey against the damage output that Rack can do. But let's not forget that Push Riyadh can very easily do four damage every turn, too. She stays in range one. Yes, she's nasty. You all, I always forget, and then I come up, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. I'm always sitting here like, oh, plan faster. I want to know what you're doing. Well, in this situation, then, what do you do? In this situation, what? if you're, if you're oh Andrew, God. what's your position play? Oh. I think, because those, Ryan's going to have to commit one way or another. So if you're Andrew, you've got to just pick something and hope that Ryan's picked the other. So I think I would stick to that board edge for a while and try and come up around the side or the back and, like we were saying, ram something, Mm -hmm. boost around the rest, you know. 
So you're thinking his lane in is not the first two rocks, but the second two rocks? That, that yes, secondary ex- channel? exactly. Closer to yeah. uh, the border, away from where all the templates are? Yeah. And then his Riyadh is going to go for what, five straight to stay beside or three bank um, and joust? Yeah, Riyadh doesn't want to joust by herself, though. Probably try to keep range so you've got, you know, one of those ships mm-hmm. at range. Try and plink them off. Plink some damage through, take yeah. an easy shot, have your four of eight dice. Target Although, a lot of focus you know, I don't know what I'm doing, so. I think also, though, if I'm Ryan, I just, I, I wait and I force Andrew just to commit. Just do, like, one, one straight. Four. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, I mean, you're Rebels, why would you do anything but? And if he's out of range, you can reposition yeah. with light We're going to see who here is playing the I'm not committing yet game. Mm-hmm. And I think, uh, I don't know, maybe you might feel differently about this or not, but I don't know, for, for newer players, I know when I first started into the game, I was always like, I have to attack with my entire list every single round, every time. Right. When you play overly aggressive, sometimes it's okay to play a longer calculated game. To chill game. out, yeah. I love Ryan's flying. Yeah, we it's all weird, do. It's weird, it's idiosyncratic, but... And he seems very delicate with when he's moving his things, too. Like, he has not nudged anything yet. No, Ryan is Tap very, on wood, but he's a very clean, calculated player, which is Like, which in our last see. game, we had two of those big uh, bomber things, and they kept getting knocked everywhere. Oh, that's the, that was my first round loss. It was... It's a fun list. Everywhere. The, well, it's not fun to flag it, but it's a hilarious <laughs> list. I mean, I, I'm fine with the world seeing those two giant bombers on the table. Yeah, you know what? I have no problem with that at all. That's interesting. So the three. So he wants to keep formation. Getting them in a line. Yeah. So I think I think I see a barrel roll here to tuck, snug yeah. them up, and Jess is going to go one forward. I think. Mm, I think. If I could be so no, bold. No, I think they're fine like that because now they're in position, right, where they can they can keep going straight or they can turn in hard. Mm. They can bank, and they've got a lot of options. That's a good point. It's also important to point out that too is that flight assist astromech is an opportunity for you to measure pre-combat because you have to see if you're in range one to three in arc, so you're allowed to do that measurement, so you can see how far away it's you are. It's such a good tool, it really just is. for that purpose. Yeah. Some of the older players remind you when you know you're out of range three, you call for a target lock just to confirm and get that extra data. It's a little bit like that, but I mean, you shouldn't feel bad about doing that. That's important. It's a, you're allowed to do that. Cause range that control is so important, and like myself included, some people just cannot do it, mm-hmm. and that's the make or break in games a lot of the time. Absolutely, I completely agree with you. And especially when you're in a joust, a joust list, your initial engagement is so, so important to your to your overall success of your game. It's going to matter everywhere. <coughs> That's what's gesturing. Two forward, one forward. It's just a one. So they're all they're all numbered, right? So they're all numbered one, two, three, four. Okay. So whatever you do, you can figure out which one. So I feel like we are potentially, if not this turn, next turn away from some some action. And then chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can't wait for the chaos. Yeah. It is going to get chaotic, I think. Riot might be in range this turn for some attacks. Yeah. Well, I think she's doing a three bank, so she might very well be. She's going to be in range of somebody. Yeah. Now, <laughs> she better hope she's not in range of all of them. So this is where I, I measure a target lock on on one of them and then save my push for a barrel roll back to see if I can get out of range. Yeah. But that's just me. Oh. The evade's free anyways. Right, yeah. He did the three bank. Got the title. He's going to do the focus and now we see if he pushes for anything. I, he looks pretty pretty squarely in range three of all of them there. Yeah, all those tokens, all those green dice, they're hard to hit. So he's, oh, he's, like he's going to push for the target for lock. lock. Oh, he's not even going to check. Yeah. He's just going to put down. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to lay a little bit of hurt, I think. Uh, so Sheeran was probably into the two bank, the hard two, so he's not going to be near that board edge. So I'm assuming is what's going to happen. Oh, that's a three. Is he going to be in range, though? Or is Raya going to be sitting there alone? 
Well, he could easily boost in the range and maybe try to draw some of the fire away yeah, from Yeah, no, you're right. He's got the hull to survive yeah, it. Yeah, he can boost. Of course, the problem is that now he's he's not able to hold. He's going to probably show the dark side to somebody. Oh, checking for a lock, I guess? He's probably looking for to show you the dark side. Oh, yeah, Would be you're my right. guess. Maybe he's going to try to see if he can pull a blinder out of there to save Riyadh against one of those shots. Yeah, yeah looks, it looks like, like it. That's a good trick. Right? Yeah, uh, that looks like a blinded to me. Fun walk. I, I think the bank boost to ship right would have gotten Rack out of it, but that does make sense. The the blinded makes the most sense. Now, Churner's ability, I believe, is range 1 to 2 focus. It's not in range 3. It would turn the focus to a crit. Probably might be palping a crit in this shot, though. Right. Oh, he saved his pal. Oh, he's going to save pal for defense. Yeah, that's probably a little more important <laughs> at this point dice, in time. As his dice just fall out of his hand, Ryan, assuming to be like, that's fine, I'll just, that'll be my role. <laughs> Okay, so Riyadh's going to have the range. So she is going to be an arc of everybody. Yep. Oh, he's palping. So he is going to use it offensively. Yeah, he's palping in a crit, I guess, looking for a blinded. He wants that blinded. Oh, that's a crit. I hear us. I can hear them almost from the table. Oh, you can hear them? Yeah, I can hear them. Well, I don't think they can hear me. They might be able to hear you. You're okay. a lot louder than um, I am. That I have heard that. <laughs> I have heard that. I don't think they can hear you. There's too much background noise in this building. There's a hit. So that Chris is definitely going to go through. So that first Y wing is going to be blinded. Yeah. And he's actually going to eat most of that damage there. So he's going to eat those two shields down. Well, it's one shield and then the blinded. The shield and, and then the, yeah. the blinded, yeah. right. Gust, triple eight. Uh, we could try using our golf voices, but that would be a lot more boring and not as fun for me. I don't like golf. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy being loud and boisterous. X-Wing, you have to be loud. It's too noisy in these rooms. That's absolutely true. That's why you lose your voice by the end of every day. Yeah. So we had, okay, so Ryan's starting his pain train. Yeah, that's not bad. Ooh. Ooh. So it's focus and evade to take no damage. I don't know why you wouldn't. Was that Jesse activated first in the firing? Um, I think that was Jess. I, I guess we'll see in a minute. Yeah. So Ryan took no damage there. Mm -hmm. Spent all those tokens. Now it's the Y wing. I mean, that is range three. So she will get the additional die against the primary. So two, two oof, oh, big crit. It's not, a, it's not a bad not, thing to see. Yeah, on two dice, and that's what dice. you're happy for. No more, oh, two evades. No more tokens, though. And with that many shots, although we had the one blinded. This is where the blinded but, was really yeah. huge, so it makes sense. Andrew really fought for it. And here's the M9G8 going to come in. He's going to focus for two. <laughs> <laughs> Those dice are, are they talking about something? I think maybe I'm just trying to understand how Figuring MNG8 out works. Yeah. Any insights you want to share? So is that, that's going to be one hit on Yeah, one Rad? shield down. Yeah, punk, punk user, as you mentioned earlier, Riyad is, uh, she's going to only take one damage from the whole round, and she's set up quite nicely for 5k, three straight, whatever she feels like she wants to do. Or she could even, in this situation, uh, with the twin ion engine, Mark 1 on R200, I would probably just one banker, and you want somebody in range 1. Get out of, the, get out of uh, BTLA 4 range. 
And that's it, because I think the 5K is blockable, and I think, actually, I think all of her K-turns are blockable. Yeah, she's got a lot of blockable moves in there. Now, I mean, Ryan's got a lot of ships. Maybe he can go for, you know, a majority of those blocks if right. he really wanted. I think I think he's in a relatively solid situation. He did not take that much damage on his ships. Cherno is now he's... facing his little swarm. Yeah, I think he one bank everybody and just just yeah, shoved them yeah. down the list's throat. Yeah, I I think you're right. But you know, Cherno can be tricky. He might boost out of there somehow. So, Punk user, your question is, does he go away from that rock towards the board edge and get broadsided, or does he just go for it and fly right over it and smash into people? Not sure. He not might get sure. blocked, yeah, right onto that asteroid, though, if he's not careful. If that's a very good point. That's right. If Ryan thinks that's a call that he might do, he might try uh, to push yeah. forward. I don't know if you want to take the, the risk that you're going to be stuck. I think you're doing... Probably a bank towards the board edge of some sort. Absolutely. Plus, I also think, actually, I'm not 100%, but I'm fairly confident that if you run over the rock, you would reduce your ability to use uh, Kylo at that point. You wouldn't be able to use Dauntless on that. Right. Because you've lost your action because you've over overlapped the rock, I believe. Three bank point, three bank to port Dauntless? That's an option. Either way, this is this is going to be a fire starter of a round. This, this next one coming up, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see some serious dice action going on. Yes, I'm excited for how much the dice are gonna be rolled. Yeah, yeah. This is where you're gonna see what goes on with Andrew's list. That is a lot of dice. He's potentially able to throw, unless Andrew can fly into one of them and and take away that ability to trigger all those TLTs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, Chad, I think I missed what you guys were talking about. You, I think somebody might have corrected my assumption on the Kylo, so uh, if, if you could put that comment back in there again and, and let me know what I got wrong on that. You can still Dauntless on an asteroid? I don't know. Yeah, Dauntless only allows you to take an action if you're, if you're bumped. Month? I thought. Hold on. But we have the, the, the internet. But if your template overlaps an asteroid, you've lost your opportunity to take an action. I don't know. There's a lot of finicky rules, so I, I probably get some of them wrong. Most of them. After you execute a maneuver that causes you to overlap another ship, you may perform one free action then receive stress token. Right. So yeah. Okay. So it's only if you. Oh, I get. So does that mean then if you did? fly over an asteroid but ended up bumping you could still trigger it i guess so because a free a you can do a free action when you're on an asteroid right oh i did not realize that that's actually pretty spicy yeah as, okay as punk user was saying it has nothing the to do with your skipping action okay yep that's okay. very interesting thank you you've educated us today stream, again stream on point like always we appreciate you guys and girls stream on top as it were Okay, so coordinate action coming here. Coordinating a target lock, potentially. Uh, focus. Ah, okay, I like it. Yeah, and like yeah. you said, we see that Sheetha P just hanging out in the back. He does not want to fight right now. Absolutely He's not. He's not a fighter. He's a support. AP5 is doing too good of a job. Now, the other interesting thing to hear at the point out here, then, is after this turn, Ryan is essentially forced to decay turns, and, and AP5 is going to be completely out of position, so he's got to do damage on this turn. Yes. His ships can't turn around any other way. Ooh, looks like yeah. he's going for a block. Yeah, but he's going for the blocks, but then, you know, what else is he going to get? Because, like somebody in the, the chat said, Rack could do a hard turn towards where Ryad is right oh, now. Right, and Ryad's yeah. going to fly into the back of one of these guys. They might not have any shots at all. Mmm, that is very interesting. Okay, so he actually, Ryan has decided to try to block the one bank. With that, with the flight assist, and give him a shot on rack if he goes that direction. So that means Jess is gonna go one forward or one bank. Straight, I think. No nope, bank. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, the interesting thing Thanks, though is Ryan. he still has a bit of formation after this too, if he wants to. Oh yeah, for sure. Now is that formation facing the right way? Nope. We will find out. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's where rack is gonna go. 
Although I, I did earlier say that is where Rax should go, but I think I was wrong. Well, the, actually, the interesting thing is, though, if he does go hard three with that uh, with that rack, that means Ryad can't bump. And if she gets bumped right now, which is what Ryan has gone for, he might be blocking that rack onto a rock. Onto a rock. Yeah, it could be a double block. Which actually might not even feel that bad, considering he might not even take any attacks. Yeah, there won't be any attacks anyway. So <laughs> so this is interesting. <laughs> This is gonna be, and this is one of those times where I'm glad I'm not playing because this is my yeah, brain already hurts. Because it's like, what do you do here? What is the right choice? Is yeah. it one way or the other? All right, what Riot do? She went for a three bank. She's gonna bump somewhere. She might fit perfectly into there. No. Oh, does she fit? No, she bumps Jess. Yeah, gonna bump Jess. But not gonna take any shots this turn. You know what? You're like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I think, I think I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that if I'm Andrew. Now he's, he's able You've to pay turn next to, turn. Yeah, or reorganize harass, yourself. Or he can send her to go harass AP five. Yeah, and his squad doesn't have to stay together at all. Mm -hmm. They both operate. And now he's away from that brick of. Firepower. Yeah, that was a that was a really good call by Andrew. And the fact that he fits in there is actually huge. Excuse me. <laughs> I've been yawning all day. Okay, good. Just trying to avoid doing it into the mic. Oh, you guys hear me on that one? I don't know. Okay. I can't. I don't have any headphones in. I don't hear what's going on. Good. Apologies if I'm yawning directly into the chat. So now we see. Did we get to see? Did you look at that dial? Or? I did not, but I'm sure he's about to lay down the template. That's true. It's coming around. Oh, he wants to do it himself. Oh, he Ooh. did go for the hard turn. Yeah. Good call, people in the chat. Also... Really great call with Andrew. Yeah, no, for sure. Because, yeah, now Ryan has committed in the opposite direction. Yeah, and, and he has to go through those rocks yes. to get turned around. Yes. And Andrew is not going to take any shots this round. I think or he, that, that back, that back mm. Y-Wing might have a range one on Ryan, but... Oof. Oh, that was for flying over the rock. Yeah. No damage. Nope. That was a really good turn for Ryan, Andrew. He, yeah. He positioned himself quite effectively. I, I would agree admit. with that. <clears throat> Target priority. Do you shoot? Do you shoot into the ships that you've got damage on, or do you try to take that juicy range one shot? I think you take the range two. Mm. Focus fire. Does it really matter at this point, though? Because, hmm. what, he's got two damage on that one guy? Yeah. He's got a lot of opportunity to come back around and sprinkle on them. Help in a crit, because there's no need not to. Yeah, not doesn't need it for defense. No more shots. So for he'll just get one, one, one help crit. Yeah, one in a crit. This is where the... You can't find the crit on the die. Check those dice. There's no crit. <laughs> uh, this is where that old Predator version is really, really scary because he would theoretically been able to re-roll that and potentially have gotten three crits on that attack. So that's one shield off of that same Y-Wing. He, yeah, he went for the same target. And Riyadh's going to try to attempt for range on... Oh, she's got out it. She does not have range on AP5. So now they're looking to see if that... That is a very tricky arc in yeah. there. Ooh, I think he might have just oh, the rear corner of her. Yeah, I think you're right. That might be a judge call. We'll see if they can resolve it on the table on their end. When the, when the range one range ruler is too long, you use <laughs> a, a, a one maneuver template. That's right. You've seen it here first, folks. Yeah, that's a judge call. That's, that makes uh, sense. That's very, very close. I absolutely call the that's judge like, that one, right? That's that like sense. touching the plastic. Yeah. Where is the judge? Oh, the judge is making another call right now. Yeah, punk user, definitely. This isn't this isn't by any stretch of the imagination decided in the slightest. The the rebs have barely taken any damage. That's what they do well. They, yeah, they no. tank. And there's 
There's they're just still out of a position, fair amount of time. Though. They're out of position, and I don't like where they're, where they're sitting right now. Yeah, they're going to have a hard time catching up anytime soon, I think. Oh, yeah, we got the judge over there now. Yep. Our wonderful it's head tense. judge, so Devin. Tense. This is one of the hardest parts of the game. It's super finicky trying to figure out. And then you bump everything yeah, when right? you're trying to figure it out. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it was, potentially, maybe. Is there a call? Oh, yep, there it is. So it's in. Okay, M9G8 will trigger, and then he's going to focus for three damage. So Not hit, bad. Two hits and a crit. Ooh, that was the whiff he needed to see. That's shields down and Riyad. Yeah. That's that non-auto thruster, auto thruster life. I wouldn't be mad at that if no. I'm Ryan. Not in the slightest. Shields down Riyad. That's yeah, Riyad good. had no tokens because she bumped, so. Yeah, that was a good turn. Yeah, I think at this point Ryan's gotta reform reform and, and rethink. He's gonna I think we're gonna see K turning for most people. But that the problem is now is his AP5 is so far away and so alone and yeah like you said Ria could just go hunt it and so can Shirino he can come around as well he could potentially do the a two bank with Shirino and then a two and then a one bank boost and maybe even have a double arcs on him or double range at least not necessarily arcs <laughs> bump with a dial Jess and Y2 are going to K-turn and some Talon rolls. So every, it seems like we are all in agreement here. We're seeing some K-turns. It's just, is there a setup or a situation with which he can K-turn all of them? Somebody did mention that uh, Y-Wing 3 could hard 3 and then flight assist for a barrel roll. So that's still an option. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Y-Wings are 3Ks? Uh, 4Ks, four. Four okay. Yeah, it's four a 4K. Four it's a bit of range. 4K that guy. Interesting. Of course, depending if Ryan wants to break up formation, he could always do a talent roll adjust as well, but he doesn't have prime... Does he have prime thrusters on him? He does have prime thrusters, so he would be able to flight assist after a talent roll if he didn't have anything in arc. Mm. I think Andrew's in a really, really good place right now. Yeah. I imagine we're just gonna see him softy, soft turning in between those rocks, just hanging out, yeah. plinking away with that turret. Maybe be super safe and just do the one bank on the decimator, so it signs it sets himself yeah. Well, and then that keeps closer range to all those ships that are over. <laughs> Get some tape on the wristband here. So does it knock anything over? Oh, it got really quiet in there. All yeah. Ooh. I guess now it's now time we for use golf our voices. golf voices. <laughs> we don't want to give any uh, information to the players. <laughs> Okay. What did we do? Oh, banking three. Oh, okay, but he's just gonna go all the way around the rock. Coming around, thinks maybe Ryad's, like we said, gonna go after that cheat the pig. Keep yeah. coming around. And he does have flight assist, which does help him get around fast. So yeah. That's not a bad idea either. You're not mad at it? No, not at all. It's great because now he's got the hard two flight assist back in. He's right back into and the fight. And then he's away from Cherno. Yep. And he's also got that entire open space board edge again. Yeah. There you go. So Ryan obviously has a plan and he's executing See, it. See, we don't oh. know anything. No, we don't. We know nothing. We're both John Snows. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, chasing down Riyadh here. Yeah, he'll be able to boost again here or barrel if he wants to. I do like it. Yeah. See, he's much smarter than we are. 100%, yeah. I mean, I... This I is why you're doing the commentary and not Yes. <laughs> this is also why I was only trying to fly two ships. I couldn't even handle that properly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. A bunch of small ships with just forward-facing arc, you know? It's like we started playing the game again. 
It's like back when you first started, started playing the game. That's right. Real honest arcs. Although, to be fair, my first list was a bunch of ion cannon turret Y-wings. <laughs> <laughs> so you just love ruining people's days, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, There's for nothing sure. nothing wrong with that. It's got to happen. He still probably will be able to flash this off of that, I believe, right? Because it's a free action. Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Oh, no, because you can't flight assist if you've overlapped something. Ah, it says okay. so in the card. There you go. Yeah. That would be very spicy if you could. There we go. That should be something I know since I was playing Ghost Fan yesterday <laughs> with flight assist. <laughs> was that a problem coming up often or no? When I first started playing it, I didn't realize all the extra text on the card. Ah. And, uh, yeah, I was playing it wrong. That's a lot of text. That's too much text. Ah, there you go. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that's a little bit of a wiggle. <laughs> yeah. So what's that? That's a three of some sort. It it's looks a hard like a three, hard. it looks like. Yeah. Huh, that's an interesting choice. It's definitely an interesting choice. Is it towards the Y Wings or the other way? Okay, the other way. Oh, is it not even a three? It's a three straight. Oh. Ah, okay. Play the averages. I was going to say, I thought I saw his dial before he placed it. I don't hate that. I would have been aggro and gone with the five. And then, yeah. He's going to put himself in arc. I think he's escaping the arc of this Y-wing over oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's what you're saying. He wants to make sure he definitely doesn't have to worry about the TLT Taking madness. that two dice attack from the Sheathopedes better than taking all those attacks from that Y-wing. That is a very logical choice, and that's why it would have been bad for me, because I would have gone the five straight, and then I would have been lit up by a Y-wing. <laughs> Which is probably what Ryan was hoping for, I think, and that's why he did the maneuvers that he did. Interesting. They're so smart, both of them. Yes. Wonderful flying, you guys. They can't hear us, but maybe they'll watch this back later. Exactly. Our chat here is going nuts. I can't even keep up with it. Yeah, it's super active. All right, dodge the wise. AP5 is not relevant. Yeah, that's exactly it, MDL, one, so forth. The two dice, he's got no fan, he's got nothing really. There's nothing he has to worry about from Riyadh. The three evade dice and the evade token. That's not, a, that's not an arc you're worried about getting hit by. The Y wings is, is terrifying. Oh, no, look at that, just out of range. Do you boost? No, you sit where you are for the hard two yeah. next turn. Yeah, I think you don't want to do that bank. Mm. Big base engines with a uh, big base ships with the engine is hard as well. Everything is hard. My brain hurts. <laughs> that looked like a range three through the rock. I don't know if that was range. I guess we'll find out in a second. Mm -hmm. See the only down the only downfall so far for Andrew is that he's he's had to spread out his attacks wherever he can. I mean he's obviously been able to focus on that one Y wing which has now been bugged out. Yeah. But he he has no real his target priority right now is away from where he is. So it looks like he's got to pick a range three through a rock on Jess. Right. She'll have four dice with auto thrusters. Yeah. I mean he's not getting any return no, fire back at him back. so. That's true, and the target lock makes sense here too. It's all. I mean, that's really anytime all you're shooting at someone and they're not shooting at you, it's a good, it's a good turn. Yeah, as we've seen before with his with with Andrew's Riyadh, sometimes you don't get the dice. Yeah, so if you gotta spread your damage around a little bit at first, that's fine. It leaves it easier for Riyadh to clean up later if she needs to. Yeah, I mean, you could just do that. Yeah, <laughs> or roll three hits. <laughs> There's always that. So yeah, that target lock for later. Uh. Jess will re-roll one, and then... Oh, yeah, she's only got one. And then Thrusters will proc for one, so she's... Does he remember? Yeah, good. Auto Thrusters. Oh, look at that. He's showing us the card and everything. What a great stream player. He's no slush to the stream. He's, oh. he's, he's, he's had his time in the sun where he's definitely in, the, in there. Helping on the attack. Wants to kill that shuttle. Ooh, is that three crits? 
Oh, that's nasty. It's a blank and a focus. Yeah. So he evades one, one in the shield, shield, and then a crit. Into the hole. But it looks like a direct to me. That's a, that is a direct. That's a lot of little text. Down to two now. <laughs> Fair. That's, yeah. It's a good call, Ryan. It's salty. Oh, my God. Did he bring that specifically in case he was on the stream today? <laughs> I don't or know. does he do that in every game? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's good, though. I could have used that all day today because I was full of it. It's one. Oh, Rhea, it's fine. Yeah. She'll dodge that all day. So the flavor, the sick question is here is what flavor of K turn is Riyad going to do this turn? What flavor of K turn? Does she do a three? Does she do a four? Does she do a five? Um, I think I would go for the five yep. just to be safe. I would Because I think the, the three well. could be blocked by that shuttle mm -hmm. who would see that coming. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Also, the five is also going to give him max range against the uh, approaching, en encroaching arcs of uh, yes, the rest of uh, exactly. Ryan's ships. Yeah, Punk used a 5K and then roll outwards uh, is a very a very good choice for her. Push for the focus, and she's got lots of tokens. Range three, with focus evade, she, she's, she's feeling all right. Plus, she probably still has a shot on the AP5, yeah. depending on where well, he goes. Well, she wants to finish that AP5. He's... He's not sitting too happy right now. I mean, I feel like Chirpy's coming around that corner hot and angry and ready to punch it. Yeah, he should point hard out, to boost, probably. There's zero damage on Rear Alley Yeah, right he's now. not been shot at yet, which is incredible. Yes. You would expect that a Decimator would be, you know, dead by now, but he's been really good at avoiding those arcs. Yeah, absolutely. While still sprinkling some shots around the, I mean, turrets. Yeah. There's a lot of hull still left this on the table a, here. It's a very interesting game. I really didn't know how this was going to go. Neither I did got, the guys. No, I, and I, I got to admit, Andrew made some pretty clutch calls in the way he decided to veer off and disengage with his Shiradu. It's very, very smart. Ryan's now got to chase him down and try to get his arcs back turned on the right on the right table. However, this is probably a round where he will be able to get back into the fight with at least two out of three of his ships. It's whether or not APK can survive this round. Yeah. I'm... I don't think that shuttle's surviving this round. It's going to be very hard-pressed for it to survive, yeah. Because Chirpy's coming in. Yep. We've got Ryan, who's... It's got to be the 5K. It's got to. What's the fastest the shift he can go forward? Uh, I think fours are red, and then three is, like, the fastest that's not red. Ooh. So, no, I don't, think he, I don't think he can get into a bump range where he could, like, bump uh, Andrew's Cherno. I think he just dies. <laughs> Punk user absolutely rack absolutely still needs to be careful not to get into the arc of any of the ships. He falls into arc of those three ships and his full health goes down to half health literally potentially instantly. Um, but I'm what we're commenting on of uh, being this far into the game, him still being full health is very a very good position for Andrew to feel it feel and he should not feel bad about this the way he's been playing at all. That's it's very he's in a very good position right now for sure. It's been a good game. Yeah. Yeah, Marcel, thanks for that. You're right. Uh, Jess should be down one shield. That shout out to the GSP, by the way. So he's going to get proc as flight assist. We'll see a one forward or a bank. Probably a forward. Yeah, see, this is where a 5k from the Riyadh is going to put her probably well out of arc of most of the ships. Yeah, those ships have a long ways to go if she does a 5k. Mm -hmm. I think that's the right move, just for that reason, even. Banking around. I like this. This is a fun game. I also like this move from Ryan, because I think he's out of arc. Oh, he's in arc, no. So no flight assist there. 
just to focus. Jess can heart two and then flight assist for a boost. Oh, she heart three, yeah. I don't think he wanted the flight assist there anyway. I guess maybe for a boost four, but... In case she did the 5K, it closed a bit of that Expecting distance. that 5K there. But then again, you know what? Again, he's a better player than I am. He doesn't want to get Jess out of range of her reroll ability. Right. That boost would have taken him out of it. And this turn, she's going to have it even better than the last turn. Because yeah. now both those Y-Wings are closer. Yeah, you're right. She's got she's got both her friends. And we've got the Sheet the Peak coming in closer to them as well to mm -hmm. start helping out a little bit. Also, a fun fact for sports fans at home, if you don't have a, uh, as much experience with flight assist, just because you check for it, doesn't necessarily mean you have to take it. Oh, is it? So you okay. can check when you're in arc. Um, it says uh, you may before a free barrel roll and boost. So you get to check your range on a ship, see if you have arc, see if you're in range, and then decide to not do anything with that information. I love it. Yeah. So I think, Ryan, instead of worrying about keeping the extra reroll, we'd rather have arcs and, and potential damage output there. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is going to be interesting for Ryad. So maybe should we see a surprising 3K now? No, that looks like a five. Yeah, that's that's the move. Everyone's always so surprised by what these defenders can do, <laughs> you know? Oh, who would have saw Ryad doing a 5K? Well, that's why I love writing on the twin ion because this is like there, I've had so many matches where I'll be like, eh, and I do a one bank, and then people are like, defenders can do that. I'm like, they sure can. Then they clear stress, then they do a target lock, <laughs> then they do a focus, and she's laughing. So he's going to get his evade token from the 5k. He is in arc and range of that lead Y-wing there. Uh, I think there's absolutely no way he doesn't push. It's just does he take focus target lock? Does he do focus barrel roll? Um, what so does he do? focus target lock and kill that shuttle before it has a shot back. Does it, is it in his... Uh... Oh, going for the barrel roll. Yeah. Going for some more range. Yeah, because now that Y-Wing is... It out. is out or very close to being out of range. And then he's going to push for the focus. Yeah, try and kill that sheathapede. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense, pushing for the focus. And here comes Chirinu. It's also important to note that Chirinu could just kill the sheathapede itself. So he got two life left. Yeah, that's true. And Riyadh can just have to just worry about tanking, which is why I think he wanted to roll back for that extra. Absolutely, Punk user. He's still going to have Palpatine to probably use on defense for Ryad. She's probably going to be okay this round. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to roll below average to take damage, I think. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see the boost from Cheer now. He's close enough at this point. Yeah, he's he's away from all those other arcs, and yeah. he's got a perfect shot on the Sheet the Peed. Yeah, and you take target lock on the Sheet the Peed to guarantee your ability to get damage. Yeah, I mean, you've just got to get two through. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Shazbot, double G, you make a valid point. The barrel of the ship left would have also would have probably evaded Jess's arc, and then he would have had to just tank the one. I can only imagine that he was maybe apprehensive of putting himself into range of uh, the bottom Y wing there. Maybe that's what he was thinking. I think yeah, and that sets him up probably better to fly away in the next round. Yeah. Instead of going you know right at all of those ships. Yeah. So we are seeing a Kylo on Jess, I believe. Or he might be firing it just because he still has that defensive target lock he took a couple of rounds ago. Interesting. What's that, a crit or a blinded? Probably. Yeah, blinded. PS0 doesn't do much for him here. They're already all in the same, essentially the same field. Yeah. Well, PS0 might mess with his, might mess with his order of act, his operation activations at some yeah. point. I don't think it's such a big deal. All right, Cherno onto the shuttle. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's oh. in a pel. Okay. He, he really wants to kill this. I agree. Well, I mean, shutting down M9J is definitely going to shut down the offensive output of Ryan's list a bit. Oh, for sure. For sure. He's got the rule on natural dice. He's going to get a crit, and then Chirinu. Okay, so crits. Bunch of crits. 16 minutes. 
focus and two evades. Oh, he's shooting at Jess. Oh, that's a je I guess he figures Riyadh can, can kill. Um, I'm not sure I like that. I won't lie to you. Mm -hmm. I totally thought this was at the Sheik the Peed. Yeah, I would kill the shuttle, get it off the board. I mean... Make it over and done with, yeah. Huh. So then that was totally ineffective, right? Then range three with the focus token, you're... All right, well, let's see what happens here. <sighs> Needed that lock. So now he's just deciding whether or not to focus. Oh, did... Was Ryan able to... Reroll, put a target lock somewhere defensively for MNGA. He moved the target lock over to her. Oh, to try to stay alive this nice. turn. That was tricky. I like that. I like that decision. So for everybody under uh, curious See, of the so interaction, just Chirino happened. Chirino really should have. Anyway, Ryan was actually able to. Oh, okay. See, sorry. I okay. Thanks. Now I figured out what was going on. So Ryan very creatively and effectively decided to move his target locks. So he moved his M9G8 target locks onto the uh, other ships for defensive measures, forcing them into rerolls, which is probably why Andrew decided to shoot at Riot. Ah, uh, it's almost as if I was at the table, I would know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did slow, slow on the uptake there. That was a really good defensive me measure by yeah. him. Yeah, oh, look at him, he's still just chilling there. Like, yeah. look at me, I'm still alive. Yeah, and then I'll take my pot shot, range, range two. We're waiting on Jess's. We've got to activate first the high yeah, PS. We've got some dice in hand yeah. being forcefully rolled over and over. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Seemed to work. So just continually shake them for 35 to 45 seconds before you roll them is the key, apparently. What do we got there? A couple of evades. Yeah, three yeah. of them. Good to go. That's how it happens. Oh. Definitely. Out of range of that Y-Wing. Andrew electing to utilize his zero-point EPT on that attack. Uh, sorry, Ryan decided to utilize his zero-point EPT. Okay, so we got come here. We got some Y-Wing love. No, that's the AP-5 on Ryan. Yeah, because the Y-Wing didn't have a range. He's or... not hitting. So there you go. Andrew, again, making some really call, uh, positive calls there with that barrel roll back. Was able to get yeah. out of the... Y wings range and just suffer one attack and took no damage. We'll suffer two I'm attacks, still but. surprised that the decimator did not shoot at that shuttle though. Because mm. even if you've got one negative reroll, you still have a higher probability. You know what? You're better. You, target lock. You're like, oh, the other guy's gonna kill him. You want to make sure that he's dead. Hundred percent, I agree with you. Because the AP five should not be on the thing. Because actually, theoretically, now with AP five still being alive. He could theoretically one forward, yeah. and he could coordinate and strip focus or uh, strip stress off if, I, if Ryan wants to K-turn any of his ships. Yep. I'm uh, not sure if that's what he's going to do, but, but he might. You know what? He's still there to do whatever shenanigans he wants. Yeah. And, you know, it's one ship still on the board. It's not dead. <laughs> this looks like another game that we'll be going to time. Yeah, that's the thing about having four ships that all have boosts and barrel rolls and arc dependent is it, it takes like, a lot out of you this could come down to final salvo like if that cheetahpede runs away yes that's actually <laughs> a conceivable option have we had final salvo on stream yet no we have not that well not an, today that would be an interesting thing to see because yeah chirino not even anywhere near half points right now because and we're 12 minutes away from time that's that's actually heavily in ryan's favor that's nine dice to andrew six this is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot of levels. This, this match is like an onion. We've got levels and then levels within levels. We've been excited this whole time. It has been really, really good. <laughs> Don't let the onion deceive you. It's just from sheer exhaustion. It's, it's <laughs> definitely exciting. Yeah, shit, because AP5 did take a direct, so he should be at one hall right now. We'll update that in a second. AP5 is at one hall. Yeah, because he took direct and then uh, one damage. Thanks, Marcel, keeping us on point. Yeah, you can see it on the screen. Yeah, that makes sense. Judge Gender, odds are AP5 dies in 12 minutes. Andrew's in good position then. You make a very, very, very valid point. But 
Also, let's not for, forget, one positive round of shooting from Ryan's list could very rapidly earn him half points on Shirinu, who's worth a lot more than he's doing. That's what he needs to do with That's 10 exactly. minutes left in yeah. this game. He's, he's got to get half points on Shirinu. Leave Ryan alone. Don't yeah. even worry. Yeah. So then if you're Ryan, the hard decision, what do you do? Um, AP5 has a hard two, right? The shuttle? The shit the beat? Yes, but I... Th I think I sacrificed it. I hard two it to the right and barrel roll to block. Sacrifice? To block uh, you don't want Shirinu to get in the range of anything being able to block. Or right, block and then that anything. leaves you open to do like your hard turns and yeah. catch him. Yeah, and then just unload with your machine yeah. gun. And, yeah, because half points on Chirino is a lot more than a full AP5. Yeah. Ryan would still win. My money is him on on, on uh, Andrew one-banking his Rayad. He's going to have a focus and potentially target lock or barrel roll out of arc. That's what I would do in this situation. Uh, but we'll see. I'm, oh, I'm, but Chirino's got the, uh, the Dauntless, right? Yes, yes. Well, my, my main point was him not being able to boost off into... Any right. other ships. Okay. So you don't want to lose your ability to fire at range two on him. Right. Okay. That was my yeah. thought. Well, so we see the shoot the P doing a three bank. Mm -hmm. Focus up. Okay. So it's just going to keep ships alive. Try and keep the try and survive. So then. Depending on what Andrew did with his Ryad, maybe we see his Shirinu do the three bank and just bumps and stuff. Mm. Yep, no flight assist there. Ship in his arc. How is Rack not being burned down with Focus Fire? How has Rack not been burned down by Focus Fire? Elliot waits. The fact that if you uh, watch the whole match, yeah. you will see. Andrew has done a phenomenal job of keeping Rack out of any conceivable danger. It's been some good flying. Yeah, absolutely. Very defensive flying over there. We've got amazing games going on all around the booth right too. It's hard not to be distracted as well. We got Duncan was playing Eric over there. <laughs> Alan is playing uh, previous nationals champion uh, Ferrara over there. Regionals champion, sorry. Either way, he's an amazing player. One thing or the other. There. And we got Tim. There's uh, Tim a lot of stiff Stilo. competition yeah, today. Yeah, there's so many good matches happening all around. It's a plethora of phenomenal players. So two bank with Jess. That's going to be a oh, bump. That. It's definitely going to be a bump. Oh, how much health of uh, uh, Marcel, I believe that went Duncan's favor. But we're going to get back to the match at hand, I'll find out for you after. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how much health is of Shirinu is off? I believe Shirinu has 12 hull. Yeah, Chirino's not been touched. So there's two there's two cubes that are off of that that you guys can't see because the decimator has so much health. Just too much. Too much for our stream to handle. He Need has new... not taken any shots. No, no, not well, at all. Well, he's been shooting, but no one's been shooting at him. All right, so what do we do? Yeah, see the one bank. I like that one bank focus. Oh, he can barrel roll, take no shots on Rad, keep her alive. That's what I do. No. Barrel roll, push for a focus. Which is the Y wing that he's damaged already? Oh, that's that one. So, uh, do you think he's gonna try and kill that Y wing and then kill AP five? What's the point total for there? For my money, I absolutely mm, barrel roll push for a focus. Get out of arcs. Yeah. She, she, he hasn't had the greatest defense dice with Red. You get one whiff and she dies. Yeah. And that's not what you want to give up. Thirty six points, especially when you're in a situation. I really, I definitely like this call. This yeah. Is definitely no, the you're right. Ryan. Because I'm thinking now you're going to see Shirinu do a one bank. He's going to try to blind somebody with palp. Yep. And then he's going to proceed to only take a primary from Y-Wing 2. And then he's going to take a ton of damage from Y-Wing 3. Well, actually, no, because AP5 has had to move his target locks defensively. Oh, four straight. He's just trying to get out of those everybody. arcs. He can boost out of the majority of those arcs at oh, this point. Oh, you're right. 
and take a, you know, a turret shot at AP5. Does a bank boost not get him out of everyone's arc I, right now? Uh, well, we've got AP5's rear arc, right? I don't think he's too worried about that. With no, yeah. Health. No. Wow, but that's that was what I'm a very saying, good call. yeah. That, that was a... another really awesome move. Decimator uh, and friend list is is you usually see it flown like a like a like a jackhammer, but we're seeing Andrew fight like a scalpel today. Super defensive over yeah, here. And that it's was a been a gorgeous move. This has been awesome. Wow. That was some spectacular planning there. That was that was absolutely Hats off to you, Andrew. My hat's already off, but I'm putting it back on to take it off. So for he kills AP5, say this turn. Yeah. And then just run away for points. 100%. Yeah. I think he, let's see if he might get greedy and try to get Jess and AP5. I wouldn't. Just, just palp in the crit, shoot at AP5, go about your merry way. Top of the morning and all that. It looks like it. Yeah. I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah, that's a range two. You'll have your Palpatine, you'll have your, your cheer new crit. And there you go. Hit, double hit crit. How many dice? He's only got two dice, so yeah. he's dead. And he rolled two of eight anyways. Uh, okay, so he focuses. Takes a takes crit. A crit. Wow, that, that literally just okay. came down to that. That was, okay. Andrew, that was spectacular. Beautiful. Sam 9 g 8s off the board. Andrew's got some points. He's got full health on his rack. There's five his minutes Ryan, left. His Ryan yes. does not die. Now Ryan has to K-turn all of his ships yes. if he wants any chance of taking some shots. Yes. But, yeah, I think Andrew's got this. I think for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, he's going to just just keep his Shiro out of this. Oh. <laughs> nice Ryan roll over there. Oh! I think we had uh, something exciting happen that over there. That was not this game. That was another <laughs> game, but. <laughs> oh, my God. Every game today has gone to time on this stream. You know, there's a thing. There's being on stream. Is that Duncan and I were talking about it yesterday on stream. There's a bit of stream nerves. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's I would never want to do it. I mean, I went once on stream and got just curb stomped. Uh, it was very, very tough. It, and now everybody can rewatch it over and over and over again. Overly analyze your decision and tell you you're scrubbed because you made one wrong call. But when you're in the heat of the moment, it's not always clear. What I'm not sure I would ever agree to be on the stream. Yeah. All right. Three minutes left in round four, the X-Wing World Championships. Canadian Nationals, not so the Worlds. Only My brain is turned off already. Sorry, that's no problem. The only the only, only slight issue right now that I'm just facing is the fact that his Riot is behind his Chiru now. Uh, she's stressed. She wants to go speed three to get an evade token. She's not going to be able to do a three because that's going to bump. The, the four bumps and the five doesn't clear either, I don't think. Is a one, does she have one bank? Are they green? She's got a one bank green because of twin ion. Is the only thing that she can do. And Get rid Andrew, of that stress and then focus evade. That, that's, I think, all you can do. Well, you can evade naturally, though. Because the one bank is actually going to... So they don't have they don't oh, evade on the dial. Right. So he can only yeah, focus yeah. and maybe target lock if he does the one bank right. And if and if Ryan knows yeah, that... Yeah, so Ryan might turn in... He could tell and roll with Jess. He can hard two with the other one. Focus token. This is by no stretch of imagination over, folks. Hopefully Ryan realizes that. He potentially can take Riyadh off the board this turn. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Riyadh's already missing all of her shields. Yeah, she's only got three hull left. Mm. He K turns, uh, I think he, can, he K turns uh, Y Wing in the lead. He could Talon roll Jess maybe, and then just do a hard two with the other Y Wing, and he's got three arcs on Riyadh potentially. You're right, you're right. Because of the X7 nerf, Andrew can't just go a three forward, bump his own ship, and get an evade token. He's got to. Yeah, he got to actually trip. fly this thing. And also, it's important to remember with Twin Ion, a hard three to the right will not clear his stress. I've made that mistake once in a while. <laughs> this is a nail biter. This is absolutely a nail biter. Two minutes left, and it's still coming down to it. And the game is still not decided. No. Yeah, I mean, it's it'll be dice. Well, it might even come down to the positioning. So far, Andrew has made some incredible mm. calls. 
And let's see if he can definitely make one more. And then let's see if Ryan's Ryan, actually been no slouch on his on his decision making. Some hard either. turns and some flight assists yeah. in there. No, yeah. it's just Ryan has set up a great net every single time. It's just every single round, Andrew has made the right choice, he, which is the, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. We never even know that it's happening until no, it does. No, I, I didn't even see the four straight boost. I never saw that for a second. All right, so we're seeing a four K. Is it a K? Yeah, yeah, it's a K. Okay. So that's not going to work for what we were just talking about with Ryan. No. I would have a hard turn, like two or three. I'm focused. Yeah. And then done the same, the Ks with the other two. Unless he's trying to block. No, that's a 4K as well. That makes the most. That makes sense. But he could have had a modded shot. Oh, you know, I can, maybe he's. Oh, I get it now. He's probably thinking that he can't block Rad's three bank to the ship right. So or maybe he's trying to get maximum arcs. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna roll a crit on every single one of my dice and get half on Cherno. Maybe that's always a tactic. Your tactic can always be to just give zero. So that's right. time in the round. So this is going to be the last round. The, pl the, the players are going to be able to finish this out. And then this is literally going to come down to the last turn. <laughs> two time. I'm never going to get a break here. No. Now, he's uh, not checking for flight assist. He's checking if he can use his prime thrusters for a boost action with Jess. I think he's still trying to block that one bank from, uh, from Riot. Yeah. And he's not going to fit it, so he's not going to be able to do that. He could potentially fit a straight boost, but I don't think that does anything what he's looking for. Yeah. He's just going to sit there. Chilling. That's it. He's made his bed. Did he guess right? Riot did the three bank. She's going to clear her stress, get her evade token, get a focus. Let's see what happens. Interesting. He went for the 5K. Maybe he does clear. Maybe he had a better view of it than I did. Oh, it looks like the 5K does. The, the five, 5 straight does fit. Right. It's that, it's that uh, it's the footprint of the decimator. It's hard to see it. Oh, yeah, he definitely clears by a mile. What am I thinking? What was I saying? Oh, who let me on the stream? I have no idea what I'm talking about. I've yeah. only flown like 60 matches with Rad, too. How did I not know that? <laughs> you're, you're a defender player. I know. <laughs> well, not for like the last like three months, six months. Not since Canadian, not since Ottawa Regionals last year. I like that move. Again, Andrew, every single turn, consistently doing very, very good choices. So his question, his his stress right now, he's going to focus. Does he push for a barrel roll to try to avoid arcs? Towards the edge of the board. Depending on what Shirinu is doing. Right. If he's going on that side of his ship, it's probably safe to assume. Getting out of Jess's arc. Yeah. Interesting. He went to the back. And then focus up. Got the focus evade. So what, I, so what Ryan has to do here is just roll like an absolute god. It's possible. Like we said, this, this game is not decided yet. No, this game is going to go to two hours. This is going to be like this is going to be like overtime, the last two minutes of an NBA game. We're going to see 15 timeouts, oh commercial my breaks, gosh. TV timeouts. I'm dying here. I don't know how they're still playing this. <laughs> I'm exhausted just Like, how this. have they both done this well this whole time? Yeah. I would have choked a long time ago. So after this match is over, I'm going to see if I can get some information with all the screaming around us. Because there's been some crazy results going on in the three tables around us as well before we sign out real quick. I want to see what happens. Sure, yeah. Some crazy stuff. Oh, he's trying to sign, he's trying to sign and show the dark side, eh? Anything to save you at this point, right? Okay, so the math is 16. No, 14. So he needs, he needs, he needs 16. So he needs this eight. game is still not over, Aaron. Wow. It could it could come down to the dice here. Well, there's absolutely no chance for Ryan to get half health on Chirpy. So yeah. to show you the dark side kind of makes sense there to me. He's going for a blinded to try to save um, Ryan. Yeah, He's gonna pop on that crit. wing. Andrew is playing super defensive, I think. It's very interesting how he's been able to use that um, 
that uh, what am I trying to say here? That ability defensively. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for thank you very You're much. You're welcome. That's exactly how he's been using it. It's <laughs> yeah. been a defense. An aggressive reaction defensively. Yes. Let Any shot you don't get, you don't get, have taken on you is a good shot. Ooh, so that's double crits. So Ryan definitely needs double of eight. Oh no! So he's gonna take the crit. He's gonna go blinded and oh. have a much lower probability of being able to kill that Ryan. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Let's be real. With focus and an evade was was yes. It, <laughs> that's that makes sense, right? Uh, but I mean, down. two Y wings with those essentially three attacks on him each. That totally could have done the job. But that blinded was an amazing play. Yeah. So they're figuring out that. Can you find out what happened to Thomas and uh, Alan's match? Uh, Alan just blanked out and died. Oh. So Thomas Nice, excellent. That's what all the streaming was about. Okay. And then what happened to Alan and Duncan? Uh, Duncan won that. Okay. So Marcel, yeah, Duncan was able to squeak out the victory. Oh, so he just shot a chair now. Oh really? I just saw some shields get removed from chair now. I feel like you. I feel like you shoot at. You gotta go at Riyadh anyways. I you gotta like, try for it. That's the yeah. only. That's the winning shot. Absolutely. Well, you know what? No, we know we're mistaken. Jess didn't have arc. That's oh, why, that was that's Jess's why Andrew shot. Barrel, that was her only shot, and that's why Andrew was correct in trying to blind that. Yes, right. Hence the salt shaker. All that right, was, yeah, it's that was done. A, that was a phenomenally well played wow. match. Andrew, you did an amazing job. Ryan, don't don't stop yourself.